are such an asshole. There once was a man named Cappy, and he did stuff and made some money, and then he died, cause everybody dies, but he did more fun shit than the average person does. And that's how he won. Okay, um, this is a continuation of, uh, an original one email, but there are two separate requests, I wanted to separate them out because they were very, uh, desperate, disparate, different requests. <clears throat> So this is a young man, he's working as a pest control guy, doing really good. He's 25 years old, almost out of debt. Came from a huge disadvantage. And so now he wants to talk about the girls, the ladies. Uh, my relationships with the hell are all the women who are worth my time. I go to the gym five days a week, enjoy the outdoors, travel at least four times a year. I try to be relatively social, but my close friends are very few. I can't stand the party scene and trying to make conversation with someone who has a low IQ makes my head hurt. Now keep in mind he also has an IQ of 133. It's honestly quite frustrating as I'm ready to settle down, but all the girls in this state suck. It's not just state, son. It's two things happening. Two things. One, you have a freakishly high IQ. If you have not read the book Curse of the High IQ, I strongly recommend you go and read it because you're talking about girls, but you're also talking about your social life. You can't go to bars. You can't go to parties. It's because you can't, your, your brain just can't tolerate it. I can't even go to like, where were we? Oh, we went to Timbers. It's a franchise of bars out here, and they got food, and they're 24-7. The food's actually really good. And um, they had the fucking game on, and I'm just like, oh. And I can't take it anymore. I just can't take it. It's the same thing, man. You're super high IQ. Less than 2% of the population is smarter than you. Five is within half or a quarter standard, like as at your range, plus or minus a quarter standard deviation. There's just not that many people. And especially at the age of 25, I got news for you. 20-somethings are stupid. You guys are dumber than fuck. Kid might actually listen to you. My, my, my three-year-old niece will hinge on every word I say, which is great because you can play tricks on them. They'll believe anything you tell them. <clears throat> but you 20-somethings, not, not you personally, your generation, as was my generation, 20-somethings, oh, I got a degree. We are so told you we are so smart. It's worse. You think you're infallible. You're like the pulp. Papal infallibility. Watch a podcast on that. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it sucks. So not only socially is our 20-somethings morons, uh, dude, bro, let's party, but you're freakishly highly intelligent. The second thing I was going to say, it's not the state, dude. This is, it's not even nationwide. This is now becoming Western civilization-wide, thanks to the internet and cell phones, or smartphones, rather. Um, all women are like this, too. All of them. It's nationwide. Uh, so you take the fact that you got a freakishly high IQ, very statistically few women you're going to find intellectually interesting, and the vast majority of women are brainwashed and conditioned and programmed and indoctrinated, and that's what you girls are to have given no consideration as to what men want or to invest, invest themselves in um, kind of a my fair lady sort of thing to, I'm not saying being barefoot and pregnant or become like a geisha girl, uh, but using geishas as an example, um, geishas were not merely whores and prostitutes in Imperial Japan, Pinstry, Clary, uh, they were also taught to be more like a courtesan, if that makes any sense, where they were versed in politics and philosophy. They were, uh, when they, they would be, they weren't just a good looking gal. They'd be able to converse at parties. They'd be able to impress people and dignitaries and other such things. Um, and I'm not saying that that's what women should be trained to become as courtesans and geisha girls. That's not it. But there is none of that my fair lady refinement and certainly no training on how to be a good girlfriend or wife and if even now think about me saying that how they should be trained on how to be a good girlfriend or wife that's degrading that's belittling da, 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 da. no if you want to get with a guy and heavily marry and date and be a good girlfriend maybe there's it's not like any training but you should have someone point you out I mean, everyone complained about there never being any training programs. Well, you're not getting any training. And equivalently, men are not trained how to be men either. <clears throat> Let's be fair about that. These poor women get to choose from cucked soy boys who've never seen a gym. I mean, it, anyway, 
Uh, women of your generation, nationwide, culture-wide, Western civilization-wide, have not only not been trained, a lot of them have been trained at best to compete against men, if not be adversarial towards men. And it, they're just not there. You know, you know, I want to start a family and a kids. Well, not at the age of 25. Women are all, I, right at that age, they are more about their career. They are more about the, their education. If they're in a master's program, they got student loan debt. They are in, they're just, not only are they financially not there, they're mentally not prepared either. Not at all. That women, I'm going to catch a lot of flack for this. You know when women are most prepared to get married by today's standards, so today's generations, Gen X, uh, millennials, and future Gen Zers, you know when women are uh, most ready to get married? When they're single moms. Because then another entity comes in, their child, that slaps them across the face and is the rude awakening and drives home the point that they, the women, are not the center of the universe that they have to be selfless, they have to be altruistic, they cannot be so self-centered, that the key to life, the key to happiness is other people. And that lesson is usually taught for the first time to most modern day women with the introduction of their child. It's only then do they start to contemplate, not all of them, a lot of women know this, there's still some traditional rearing going on, but I would say the majority of women today, they don't realize Oh, there's a guy here, he has a brain, he's also sentient, he also has desires and wishes, and I should probably consider what that person, not, not even there. It really isn't until they have a kid do they realize selflessness. Do they acknowledge or even get the concept or the comprehension of other people. So right now, at your age, the majority of the women you're going to run into, unless raised differently or traditionally came from a particular religious household, they are NPCs. They are automatons. I will go and get my degree. Uh, uh, uh. I will go and get masters. I will start a career at 32.75 years of age. I will find a husband. Go to husband store. Find husband. Retrieve box of husband. Just add water. Husband grows. Up, up, up. Check out self. Check out husband. Now inseminate. Inseminate. <laughs> Outcome kid. Kid to daycare. Must go work. Work more pay. Ta I got to get doctorate. That's that's what you're faced with right now, okay? There's your dating pool. Wish it was World War II. Wish women appreciated guys. Wish the guys just wait. That's not it. Not there. They're not trained that way. They're trained to not need you. They're not even trained to think in that turn. It's it's it, it's just too bad. You were born in the wrong decade, wrong generation. We all were. Too bad. Um. So. Let's just lay that down as the general premise, some assumptions, the environment that you're in, okay? They're not there at 25. There might be, there might be. Yes, Cappy found some, some, some gals that kind of qualified. There's always a catch, there's always a catch. Um, I want to have children, fuck. <sighs> yeah, who wants, who wants three square meals a day and an easy retirement? Who wants that chance? So, um, I'm sorry, kid. It's just not in the cards for you. Conversing with someone who has a low IQ makes my head hurt. Yep. It's honestly quite frustrating because I'm ready to settle down, but all the girls in this state suck. It's not from lack of trying as I've dated around 10 different girls over the last... I mean, only 10? It's not a lot, dude. Dude, I dated well over 100. Probably, yo, oh, easy. 20, I was going to say 105 years, way more than that. Um, seven years, you could, you could, you should be banging out 200. I mean, like they were girlfriends of yours? Like you went on multiple dates and something kind of formed? Um, you should be dating a lot more than that. I did the math. It's less than one in 100 that's marriage material. And that was 20 years ago, dude. And the marriage material had some asterisks and footnotes next to it. Wants five kids. Wants two kids. Um, the problem always seems that 
to be that I get bored after a few months and move on. That's your IQ. I understand, dude. You're going to have to find a smart chick. And that's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Here's the story of my last three girlfriends. Girlfriend one, dental assistant. Uh-oh. <laughs> you mean the pretty furniture that dentists hire so it looks good on the office? Extremely hot. Of course. That's what they do. They go marry the dentist, dude. 8.5 out of 10. Basically used their looks to get through college, but not smart enough to get into dental school. Who? Received $300,000 from a life insurance policy, but was broken in debt within two years. Mm -hmm. Only cared about herself, wanted to control the relationship, and started acting bipolar, so I broke it off. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend number two, no debt, no career. Decently attractive, extremely boring, too religious, and had to have her parents' approval before she could do anything. Even at 22, I broke it. Oh, yeah, you get those girls who just stay at home, and <clears throat> mom and dad are waiting to marry off to an equally religious boy who won't touch her boobies. We my grandchildren, but don't touch my daughter's boobies. They're not for you. They're for my grandchild. <laughs> girl for three, this relationship just ended. We had everything in common. The parents were amazing, decently attractive, the most supportive girlfriend I've ever had. The downfall, she was clingy, lazy, and had tons of debt. Be that's not good. This is the best one you've had, and it's still shit. Complained I work too much. Jeez. Nothing. You know what grinds my gears? Um, you want me to get pissed off. Get in between me and get my work done. And I think there's a lot of men out there that if you want, because you're directly threatening his livelihood. And women have got to learn. You know, I they always complain about deadbeats, financial deadbeats, and these gals that like, you know, they, they, they let the guy live for rent free and they lend money to their boyfriends. These boyfriends are just financial parasites. But then they'll get in the way of a real man trying to make some real money. Why do you have to work so much? Oh, I don't know. Do you come from rich parents? Because I don't. Oh, man. Even accidentally, I mean... It's, it's not like I'm a train going through. I'm a laser, and if you stick your toe in between me and my work, it's just, it's off. It's just severed. I, oh, man. That, <clears throat> that would be, and I, oh, there'd be an immediate talk. The first time you work too much, I'd look at her, I'm like, oh, uh, let me explain something. <laughs> my work is probably more important to you because without it, none of this shit exists. I didn't think I'd be my parents. I don't have to pay off my student loans. <laughs> oh, this is the most supportive girlfriend I've ever had. Yeah, but she didn't support you. She got in the way of you working too much. And do I need to say clingy again? I broke it off. Good for you. Good for you. Tons of debt. That's that's a deal breaker, man. That is a deal breaker. I mean, that, that tells you right there she didn't know how to work. She doesn't understand how work and debt works. She has a ton of debt. You had a ton of debt. You're working it off. Why are you working so much? Why can't you just be me? I'd be the type of bonbons watching the fucking prices right and shit. Doesn't he find me beautiful? I'm beautiful on the inside. Anyways, I'm thinking about looking for an older woman. Would this be a bad idea? I, it's it's not a bad idea. I, it's just not it's not gonna be the solution. I'm gonna, I'll say it again. It, it's, it's a paradox. It's a catch-22. It's a tragedy. Most women are not ready to get married until they are a single mother. That's just how it is. Uh, I'm not endorsing that you go marry single mothers, but um, you can date them. They're fun. There's nothing wrong. I know a lot of wonderful single mothers. But at your age, 25, it, it, shit, you got, you got no options. Oh, well, here's your options. And even these options suck and aren't without their drawbacks or caveats. Go overseas to traditional places like Latin America and Asia. And keep in mind that there are drawbacks to those places too. Asian women want to be controlling and domineering as they get older. And you're going to have to nip that in the butt. There's the Asian dragon lady they just don't want to deal with. Um, someone else got a motorcycle? 
What's going on? Who's got a motorcycle? I didn't know someone's got a motorcycle. Hmm. New friend. Um. <clears throat> what was I talking about? Um. There's an older woman. Fuck. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so uh, the Asian and the Latino women, it's gonna kind of be that you get. Oh, you gotta send money back home. I gotta send money back home. No, they they use their daughters as a way to make money from the dumbass white boy in America and got him, dumbass American uh, just because you happen to be a black or Hispanic. But if you're an American, uh, you got a green card just the same. They all see green in multiple ways. Um, yeah, we got a we had a client in Jamaica obviously black, and uh, he had American dual citizenship, and all the girls liked him. So you gotta look out for that. Um, the other thing is you're gonna have to find religious girls, but they come with their own fucking problems. Is it a real branch of the religion, or is it a co-opted dead branch where there's female pastors? Even though I'm libertarian, I'm for female pastors. It means that you're not a real branch of Christianity. You're the... the the church has been co-opted by feminism, and or is it going to be an uber religious thing? Where, oh my God, it, it, dude, give me a secular girl, give me a Wiccan before you give me some born again Christian type. I'll take them any day. I mean, God Almighty, give me an atheist, anyone, but give me a criminal. Um, yeah, but uh, the honest truth, yeah, you can expand your horizons, but nothing is. You're not going to be really ready about your best bet right now, <clears throat> and you could start this right now, is you go into training mode. You find a girl, and you gotta realize that they're brainwashed, okay? They're all brainwashed, they're all on the drugs, they all have depression, they all cry themselves to sleep, they're all amazing, wonderful people, they're all gonna have amazing careers. You gotta do, I've seen this done a couple times, one of my close personal friends has done this, he, he basically just told his girlfriend, or he was dating a girl, wasn't his girlfriend yet. She's like, where's this going? He's like, well, this is going nowhere. I mean, like, you're a girl all day, but you're not. Why would I commit to you? You're on these drugs. You have all these made-up mental disorders. You have debt. You're a party girl. I mean, yeah, you're a girl that I'll date and I'll have sex with, but to marry and commit, that's we're talking a woman way up here. And you basically, and you have the background to do this. You got yourself out of debt. You work hard. You work a real job. You are frugal. You are disciplined. Your nose has been rubbed into the dirt of reality. You know exactly what it takes. And you hold that girl exactly up to that standard. These girls are going to have student loans say, yeah, one of the main contingent things is that you're paying off your student loans. You're having no debt. And I'm not helping you with it. You're doing that on your own, right? Uh, you know, so because I like to get married. Where is this going? They always want to know where it's going. Where is this going? And that's your opportunity to say, well, it's going nowhere. Why would I marry you? You have to da 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 And <clears throat> that is the, they'll either tell you to fuck off, how dare you, they're amazing and wonderful because of what's between their legs. Never mind, they're mass-produced, common liberal arts majors with 40 grand in debt, no intention of paying a pack, shitty job prospects, and they all are like, I mean, never mind that. They're just all amazing. But the rare ones, it'll be a slap in the face. Is that, yeah, I got some pretty high standards for a, for a quality girlfriend, for, you know, for wife material. But you're not wife material. You're all partying around, getting drunk, and doing pot. That's not, not going to happen. If we're going to have kids, you're going to actually take care of the kids. You're going to raise them. You're going to learn to cook. And you're going to support me. You know, that's a whole other package. This is just the test drive. You know, this is just renting a Ferrari. I'd never buy a Ferrari. I'm looking for a solid Honda. Maybe some nice rims. Maybe. Maybe you wake her up. Maybe. But I'm going to tell you what i got to tell everybody else. I'm terribly sorry. <clears throat> based on what I've seen, based on all these other guys I know that are trying and date, colleagues, friends, uh, clients, um, I, I, I just be fully prepared that you're never getting married. Be fully prepared for that outcome. Because that's statistically likely what's going to happen. I mean, I'd have to go and pull some numbers and do some creative sociological analysis and work. But less than 15, maybe even for your generation, less than 10% of the women will ever actually be 
wife material ever in their lives. Uh, they, they're, and it's not that they're low quality women. It has nothing to do with that. They're not trained to be wife material. They're not trained to be mothers. They're trained to be taxpayers. <laughs> they're trained to be debt slaves. They're trained to go load up on debt, sign away their life, give tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars to leftists and academia to keep them employed. <clears throat> they get their degree, I'm a woman with a degree, and then they are screwed. Then they, are in, they have to be loyal employees to low rank shitty ass jobs. They, they go buy more shit, <clears throat> purses, cars, Range Rovers, um, and then uh, they have their career, they got their assistant reserve, vice deputy, nonprofit director, who's raising awareness and having starting conversations and never actually solving the problem. Uh, and then they want, maybe there's a guy involved. I mean, you re they have really relegated you men down to sperm donor. That really is all you are. And, and you're, you're like a check mark on a box. Like, <clears throat> and not even the main one, it's career, and finances, all right, a career and education. And then, oh, I want to get married. Why? Well, because I want to get married. I want to have my day. Check the box. And then, okay, now inseminate me, spit out the kids. And what do these gals do with the kids? They ship them off to daycare. The fuck was the point of having kids and getting married in the first place? Uh, <clears throat> so I'm sorry, uh, son. I, I got to estimate less than 10% of the women are going to be quality wife material. And I'm not kissing your ass. You did an outstanding job. You really kicked a lot of ass there. You are a real man. High quality man. Got out of debt despite the disadvantages. Didn't bitch and whine. Um, and then you throw in the super high IQ. Oh, dude, it's... Like I said, only 10% of the women are going to be marriage material. They're probably going to be picked off relatively early and by uh, more traditional means. So, again, maybe go to church. Uh, but, you know, whereas I'd say there's maybe, maybe, I could be wrong, maybe 30% of the men of your generation are marriage material. Uh, the, the, that's three guys for every one girl that's quality marriage material. It, it just isn't going to be there. So... Um, and I wish I had an answer, but it's it's dire is what it is. So you must come up with some creative tactics. I wish I had them. I don't. Uh, but I would also prepare yourself for the fact that you there's a good chance you may not get married. You're not going to find the right girl. Um, and don't waste your life trying to find it. Don't, don't beat yourself up. Okay, don't go to bars, don't go to nightclubs, this is going to be painful. <clears throat> don't go to parties that you don't like. And if a girl bores you right off the bat, say, yeah, this isn't working, and be done with it. And I'd be blunt and truthfully honest. On your dating profiles, looking for a wife, no tattoos, uh, weighs X number of pounds and is no more than X number of pounds. Uh, must not be a socialist or a liberal or democrat. You don't have to be a Republican. You know, I mean, Lena, I intend to have children. I intend that you, I will not marry anyone unless you're going to stay at home and be a traditional housewife and take care of the house and take care of the kids. I will take care of the finances and do the work. You, that, I think, is your best shot being bluntly honest. Oh, people will hate your fucking guts all the way. <laughs> kind of like a wiener dog barking with a chicken clucking at the same time. <laughs> um... But then for every nine women telling you what a piece of shit you are, there'll be one guy like, yeah, actually, I do want to get married and have kids. And that, that'd be the only other way I could think about it. That's the only other way is you put up a very honest, blunt and direct uh, dating profile and just say like, hey, that's it. No, I'm not I'm not dicking around. So, all right, that's it. Questions, answers, ExcelConsulting.com. I'll see you guys later. Toodle.